Okay, we are replacing an obvious broken screen on this Samsung laptop. It is model NP300E5CA0CUS. So, the first thing you're going to do is turn it off. Then, secondly, you're going to remove the little covers on the bottom of the screws. I use a upside down mouse pad to put my stuff on. It kind of sticks to them and it's easy to find them. It works good. So you take off both of those screws. Now this particular model has two fake screws up here. So don't worry about those. Those aren't real screws. They'll just mess you up. Um, my small screw, Phillips screwdriver wouldn't work in this Phillips screwdriver, so I just have a really small, regular, slotted screwdriver that will work. So you just take the, screw, the two screws on the bottom out. Then you have to remove the bezel. So you just stick, stick my little screwdriver in between there and get started. And then I take my larger screwdriver and then just start slightly prying it open. And you'll hear a little that little noise. Be very gentle. Okay, so to get the bottom part off, you just kind of have to bring your finger or screwdriver under there and let me get the screwdriver. Very gently, do the same thing. Pop all these little plastic tabs off. Then you have to kind of make, turn it up to where it's straight up. And there we go. And then it just pops right off. Okay. So once you get the bezel off, you then take off There's four screws here we're going to take off. There you go. Once you've gotten all six screws out of the side, lay it down. Let me get this last one that's stuck in there out. And there's your screen. So all we do is take off the tape. We're going to just set that there for now. Get the old broken screen. You're going to want to leave the protective film on there so you don't scratch it until you're done with this part. So we're going to set it down there. Make sure this tape is loose. And hook this back up. Carefully plug it back in. Put the tape back on. Then we're going to set it back up. And let's turn it on and make sure the screen works. So as soon as you've seen the Samsung sign, you know your screen's working properly. So let's turn it back off. together okay so now we're going to put the screws back in so I found the easiest way to do that 
set it up on its side because these little screws can be very difficult to work with. So if you set it on its side, pull the frame out a little bit, and it's a little easier to get them started like this. Although it's still very tricky. Okay, after you get the six side screws in, which was a real pain, put these screws back. Actually, it's actually much easier to put them in like this. Now, we just have to put the bezel back on and we're all done. Put that back in there out of the way. I'm going to put the bottom in first. It's just going to snap all the way around. I have my hand behind it to hold it there while I'm snapping it in place. There we go. So we just put the back, the last two screws on the back, and we are done. And that is a nice looking screen.